continuous integration in this tutorial we will going we are going to learn about continuous integration in agile software development now let's first understand the continuous integration process and see what exactly the continuous integration process looks like so continuous integration uh, the term itself is uh, what it means is as soon as uh, there is a change or there are changes done by developers who are working on the code or building the functionality they are making the changes as soon as they check in that particular code in source control server this continuous integration process has defined set of tools and machines or servers that are already in place with scripts in place which fetch those code changes build it test it with the build verification test and other set of tests that you could have and then they notify the team with the success or failure to everyone or um, each member in the team who, who needs to know how the build went so that's the brief about continuous integration in terms of process we'll see that say for example you have two developers or uh, th there is a development team that is working so they check out the code from the uh, the, the main branch and then they uh, or they, they st say for example they start working from the scratch so they did some development and they they will check in the code so developer one and two they check in the code in the source control server uh, which is the server to maintain the code repository as soon as the code has been checked in this continuous integration process uh, by this process there are scripts set up which fetch that code so the, the step number two is to fetch that code to continuous integration server okay so from source control server which could be anything um, uh, there are many tools available in the market uh, like SVN and all uh, you have git uh, nowadays very famous so from that source control server the code changes are fetched and then in continuous integration server the build happens so number three step number three the build happens once the build is successful no failures in the build then the automated set of tests step number four is executed and the number in number four the test could be build verification test there could be um, other functional tests key functional tests that need to be executed and if all of those tests pass after the code check-in uh, and build and test then the team is notified um, with the success and failure so uh, here uh, the de it, the email will go to dev lead developer uh, all the developers and other members of the agile team so this is a brief um, about the continuous integration process and how the continuous integration process is implemented in any of the agile team or any of the development teams within the organization now what are the automated activities in continuous integration process so this the the process that we saw previously was the continuous integration process and there are many automated activities within that continuous integration process which is um, the first automated activity is the static code analysis so uh, static code analysis happens then uh, compilation of the code happens uh, apart from that unit testing code deployment integration testing uh, reporting etc so these are some of the automation activities that happen in the continuous integration uh, process so like you will be having a uh, automated unit testing automated code deployment integration testing and there are many uh, tools and uh, a scripting languages available to achieve all these automation activities in continuous integration process and this whole continuous integration process should be in place in agile development because um, agile development you have short iteration and there is a lot of code changes in each and every sprint so unless until you have this continuous integration process in place um, automated unit testing and automated regression testing uh, it's, it becomes really difficult to uh, cope up with the manual testing effort uh, once the incremental build uh, starts happening in the uh, further iterations now the benefits what are the some of the benefits of continuous integration so continuous integration um, 
addresses uh, the integration issues and defects very early so as soon as there is any failure in unit testing uh, unit test execution or build compilation or any step of the continuous integration you can easily detect that failure or your automation or automated process itself will uh, let you know there will be automated email notifications coming to you whether the build has been passed or test has been passed or failed and it will let you know at which step the particular failure happened so any integration issues or defects are detected very early if you have a continuous integration process in place um, the other benefit is that frequent feedback to development team uh, about any issues in checked in code so as soon as the developer checks in code um, they'll be able to know that if there is any issues when, uh, within their checked in code uh, because the build will happen the test will run and uh, the test run pretty quickly so you you don't need to execute the whole suite of tests uh, in the continuous integration process should be quick build and quick number of tests to just to check the um, the compilation thing and the uh, initial build verification test to ensure that the the code check-in from the developer is all fine uh, the other benefit is automated regression testing can be done continuously so with all these uh, continuous integration process you can have another set of automation testing uh, automated in this life cycle and with each build you can trigger this automated regression testing and that can happen on nightly basis or depending on what frequency you want to set up for the project then it gives it provides more time for testers to do exploratory testing once you have continuous integration process set up you have your regression tests automated and running on nightly basis um, testers in the team have more time to do exploratory testing and identify more issues and improve the uh, quality of the end product it gives a uh, better testing coverage so because you have um, automation automated testing uh, the combinations that are really impossible or uh, you cannot achieve the uh, permutation combination of test coverage uh, if you're targeting those manually with automated testing you can figure out you can run those combinations pretty easily which provides you better testing coverage continuous integration also eliminates risk of big bang integration approach because you are checking in every day or you know like in couple of days uh, the code check-in happens build happens on a regular basis testing happens on a regular basis uh, the risk of big bang integration and failure of the build is reduced it reduces manual testing for repetitive tasks so no repetitive tasks are required in continuous integration anything which requires repetitive task can be automated and executable software is constantly available for team to test or demonstrate to stakeholders because of this, this continuous integration process build happens daily and once the build happens you have that executable software which you can install uh, on your test machine or demonstrate to stakeholder anytime so these are some of the key benefits of continuous integration process now what are the sum of the risks and challenges of continuous integration so the risk and challenges are the identification and implementation of best suited tools so um, one of the biggest challenges to identify the tool that best suits your needs in the project so that identification itself requires a lot of time in continuous integration process now defining the continuous integration process how the whole process will look like what um, what steps you'll be having in place so that defining the whole process is another big challenge in the continuous integration process now getting the people with the right set of skills to implement CI so now in agile um, the major focus is around automated testing and having a uh, lot of people with right sort of skill who can do automation write scripts to do the continuous integration so getting people with those right set of skills is really a challenge then um, tendency to perform less integration testing because 
there is continuous integration process set already uh, there is a tendency uh, among the team that most of the coverage is happening through automated testing so there is a risk that team might uh, have a tendency to perform less integration testing or less exploratory testing then team may over rely on automated unit testing that's another risk of having continuous integration that over reliance on automated unit testing shouldn't be there and team should do their due diligence in unit testing or any other exploratory testing required uh, even though continuous integration process is in place and a lot of automation is, is there in place so these are some of the risks and challenges of continuous integration thank you